Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this semicircle with the diameter AB such that we got another green circle. As you can see in this figure, that is tangent to this semicircle at this point F. And furthermore, the line segment AD is 5 units, line segment AE is 3, the line segment BD is 6, and now we are going to calculate the length CD. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's recall a two tangent theorem. And here's our two tangent theorem. If two tangent segments are drawn to a circle from the same external point, then the segments are equal as you can see in this figure. So thus according to this two tangents theorem, we have this line segment AE is equal to this line segment AF. If this line segment is three units, then this line segment AF has got to be three units as well. So thus our line segment AF turns out to be three units. And now let's focus on this line segment BD and this line segment BF. They are also equal in length according to this theorem. If this length is six units, then this length BF is going to be 6 units as well. Therefore, our line segment BF is equal to 6 as well as you can see over here. And once again, just keep in your mind that these are our line segments AE, AF, this BD and BF are our tangent lines. And now let's look at this length of this line segment AB and this is equal to this line segment this one which is 3 plus this 6 3 plus 6 equal to 9 so therefore the line segment AB turns out to be equal to 9 and this is also the diameter of this semicircle in this next step let's focus on this triangle ABD and let's recall the law of cosines and here's our law of cosine a square equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cosine of alpha. If I call this angle alpha, then the opposite side, this is going to be a. I'm going to call this side b and this side c. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. In our case, A is 6, so this is going to become 6 square equal to B. In our case, is 5, become 5 square. C is 9 square minus 2 times B is 5 times 9 cosine of alpha. And now we are going to solve for cosine of alpha. Now let's go ahead and simplify on the left hand side 36 equal to 25 plus 81 minus 90 cosine of alpha and we're going to have a 36 equal to 106 minus 90 cosine of alpha. Now let's move this negative 90 cosine of alpha on the left hand side and at the same time I'm going to move this 36 to the right hand side. So therefore we got 90 cosine of alpha equal to 106 minus 36 or we can simplify we can write 90 cosine of alpha equal to 70. Let's divide both sides by 90 to isolate cosine of alpha this is this is gone so cosine of alpha turns out to be 7 over 9 value and now let me go ahead and call this equation number 1 and here's our next step let's go ahead and draw a chord by connecting points b and c that means we are going to connect these points b and c and here's our much nicer looking diagram as you can see. 
Now let's recall the tails theorem. And here's our tails theorem and let's focus on this figure as you can see over here. If A, B and C are the points on the circle where this uh, line A, C is a diameter, then this angle B has got to be 90 degrees. So therefore in this triangle A, B, C, this angle C is 90 degrees according to this Thales theorem. So therefore we conclude that this triangle ABC is a right triangle where this side AB is our hypotenuse. Now let's go ahead and find the cosine of alpha in this right triangle ABC and we know that the cosine alpha is always equal to adjacent over hypotenuse since this is our angle alpha so this side is going to be our adjacent and this side is our hypotenuse so therefore our cosine of alpha is equal to our adjacent is going to be all the way from a to c so that is going to be simply 5 plus this line segment c d therefore i can write the adjacent 5 plus c d divided by our hypotenuse is 9 so let's divide it by 9. Let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number 2. And now let's go ahead and compare these equations 1 and 2. Here's our equation 1 and here's our equation 2. If we compare these 1 and 2, we can see the left hand side are same. So the right hand side got to be same as well. So therefore I can write 5 plus C D divided by 9 equal to 7 divided by 9. Let's go ahead and remove this fraction by just multiplying 9 on both sides. This 9 and 9 is gone. This 9 and 9 is gone. So we ended up with 5 plus C D equal to 7. Let's subtract 5 from both sides. So our CD length turns out to be 2 units. Thus our CD length turns out to be 2 units and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.